Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the top five movements you need for your drone. So let's jump into it. Okay, so my first tip is that when you fly towards the subject, start to tilt the camera down. What this will do is as you go over, you'll start to have a bird's eye view on top of it. So as you get closer, it'll come down and drop in. This will have a really nice effect as you'll like focus in on the subject, top down, bird's eye. So it'll take it from just a normal tracking in shot to then a nice dynamic pan down and so that really nice dynamic movement to your drone shot. My second tip is to circle your subject. Now how you do that is you should, on the controller, put both hands away from the controller. So one, that the camera will spin around like this and it'll keep the camera in center. So that's my second tip. So my third tip is you wanna pull the drone backwards and pan the camera up. This will be a revealing shot. So you wanna start quite low, almost towards a, a bird's eye and bring it back and then pan it up. And as you do it, you'll re reveal the subject in front of you. Now this is quite a tricky one because you can't really see where you're going backward, but you just gotta look at the drone, where you are, where you're at, and then figure it out. Like all these shots, what I'd say is, you know, practice them. Practice, practice, practice is the only way you will get better at these techniques and these shots. So just go out there and have some fun with your drone. And how cool is this place right here? Just stumble across this little, maybe you can't see it, it's a bit dark, but this is, this is a pretty cool place. I've never even been here before. It's like an old World War II bunker and I've stumbled across it and it's cool. It's got all this cool graffiti in it. Okay, so my fourth tip is the bird's eye view or what I like to call the top down shot. So basically get your camera and scroll on the trigger to get it pointing directly down. This will allow, you know, just to get a unique perspective on stuff that you haven't seen before. You know, look for your subject, look for movement in there. And you know, you can then play on this. You know, you can spin the top down, you can bounce out, you can bounce down, move forward, backwards, whatever. But you can, this is a great shot and I love it because it brings a unique perspective you couldn't get with a camera like this or any other camera, you know. In the industry, it would take a crane or a jib to do something like this but now you can do it with a drone. So this is a good shot. It's one of my favorites to get. So I'd recommend you get in this shot when you're flying your drone. Okay, my final point is not really a movement at all. It's a bit of a trick, this one, is that it doesn't really matter if you move it. Sometimes the best way to get the most cinematic shot is to not move it at all. You should position it where you want to use it and then worry about what is going on in the frame, the movement that is going on in the frame. The problem with drones is there's a lot of unmotivated camera movement. And you know, it is fun to fly them, but sometimes they don't enhance the stories that we are telling. So sometimes you just need to stop moving it, position it where you want it, and picture it as like a camera in the sky. How would you use a camera in the sky? You know, you can use it from shots you can't think of even imagining getting. So that's what I'd recommend is that sometimes you don't always need to move the camera. Overall, I think drones are a fantastic bit of kit and you should use them to have some fun, but most especially be safe and think about your shots. I hope these have, you know, helped you out to make more cinematic videos. Don't forget, you don't have to move the camera, you know, even though you've got it and you can move it, you don't have to. You know, think about your storytelling. That's the most important thing. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.